Hello everybody and welcome back. So today I'm going to be trying out a bunch of new products that have come my way. Now I don't have everything for a full face, so I'm going to be filling in the blanks with products I already have in my collection. But besides that, I have a lot of exciting newness sitting in front of me. So before we dive into it, I'd love for you to subscribe if you haven't already and let's get started. So starting off with the base, I have a few products here. Depends on which direction I want to go in with. So I have this new Glowish by Huda Beauty Blur Jam, which is a silicone-free smoothing primer. And I wanted to see how this one compared to the Wet n Wild Impossible Primer. So I might be feeling this a little bit more, but I also received this from Iconic London. It's like their new base routine. They came out with this Underglow Blurring Primer, as well as this Super Smoother Blurring Skin Tint. So that might be fun too but I'm kind of more drawn to this for some reason this morning. And I think it's because of the name. It kind of sounds like Jess from New Girl saying bleep in her funny lingo when she doesn't want to say inappropriate things. Blur jam, blur jam, blur jam. I don't know. That's what came up to mind when I first read this. I'm kind of, I want to see how it compares to the impossible one. So in an upcoming video, I'll try out this new routine here. I already opened this up right when I got it, but it looks really cool in the pot. It looks like a pot of velvet. It's so matte. It's interesting. And it's this rosy color. I don't know. It's intriguing me quite a bit. But at the same time, are we over blurring primers like this? Let me know. Oh, that looks so cool. I'm not gonna go in with this much, but I just wanted to see what it looked like. It looks so unreal because there's no light catching it. Okay, I'm gonna take about that much and I'm going to put it in the center of my face. Maybe I should have started on one side so we can see what it does. It's not really a fragrance to it. I can't smell anything. Definitely blurred out my shine on my forehead. I can't tell if it's doing a weird thing with my sunscreen or if that's just how it blends out. It feels pretty similar to the Wet n Wild one, but I feel like it spreads out a little bit easier. The Wet n Wild one is a bit stiffer in consistency, but it does start to melt down once it gets adjusted to the heat of your skin. That one does blend out quite nice. I feel like my skin does look blurred, but not as much as it could be. I'm now kind of confused. I'm having a hard time making a decision. I'm tempted to go in with the Iconic London Super Smoother, but whenever I'm testing out a new primer, I like to go in with a foundation I know very well, just to see how it's sitting on top of that new primer. And if something goes south, I don't want to be unsure if it's the primer or the foundation if I'm testing two new products out. So. I think I'm going to go with my rule and I'm going to use a foundation I know very well. And the one that's been working the best for me at the moment is the Dior Forever Skin Glow in the shade 2N. I do feel as though this primer is adding more grip to my skin because with this foundation, usually it glides over my forehead a lot easier, but I feel that resistance. So maybe it's going to really grab a hold onto my foundation. Yeah, this feels very different going on and it's definitely not as glowy. So I think it does do something <laughs> for my skin. I wasn't sure just looking at it bare, something zipping, something zimpent here. That's how my brother used to say different when he was a kid. Zimpent kind. Can I have a zimpent kind? It was so cute. It was so, so cute. Okay, yeah. I see a difference now that foundation is on. It's very blurred in the center of my cheeks here where I have bigger per pearls, <laughs> where I have bigger pores. It's looking good though. Now I'm going to quickly conceal with my L LOS. <laughs> Oh my God, LYS Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer in the shade LN3. And that foundation is looking slightly dark on me now, so I'm just gonna use this to brighten up the center. These little concealer dots are very Hailey Bieber-esque. <laughs> If you've seen her get ready with me is on TikTok. She uses the tiniest amount of concealer ever, just like two little dots. Great advertising for her skincare brand, that's for sure. <laughs> and before adding bronzer, because that is another product I'm missing, I'm just gonna go in with some highlighter. This is a new one I haven't tried. I've had it for a while, but I just haven't been able to fit it into a video yet. This is the Item Beauty Hey Hi Hey Low Liquid Highlighter. I'm going to be using the shade Electric. I've swatched it a few times and it does look quite promising. It reminds me of the texture of the Fenty Beauty liquid highlights, but a smoother consistency. Ooh, but I feel like that removed my foundation a little bit there. 
Oh yeah, it is. I, I think that, oh, that's weird. Yeah, it, it is removing it. But that could be the primer. Little swiping motions are better instead of the dabbing, but still that's kind of concerning. Not bad, but I did see like a little bit of a redness pop up when I was blending that out. I feel like that acts a lot different on my face than it did on the back of my hand. Interesting, it felt like a lot thicker and stickier once it touched my face, but on the back of my hand, it's very smooth and silky feeling. Like that's what it looks like on my, on the hand. I don't know, could be a few things at play, but I didn't like how that applied today. And for my bronzer, I'm going to be using my NYX Wonder Stick in the shade Universal Light. I'm just gonna be using the bronzer side. That looks nice. I'm so happy with this. I love this product. That color is gorgeous and it's so easily blended out. It's stunning. I just realized I forgot about setting powder. So I'm going to be using my House Labs one again. This is the one I've been really testing out. And I wanna see how it looks under my eyes again. I'm just gonna take a little bit on a dry sponge. This one is from Milk Makeup. I just wanna see what it acts like today. Cause initially I did not like it under my eyes. While we're testing other things out, I want to see it again and I do have two powder blush options so I'm gonna set first okay that looks much better applied with a sponge under the eye now I'm switching to this Sydney Grace fluffy brush to set everything else wow I do look very smooth with this and this <laughs> I do look very very smooth <laughs> So now for blush, I have two options. The first ones here are new shades in the Glowish Cheeky Vegan Blush Powders. So she came out with two new shades. This one looks very odd. It looks yellow, <laughs> kind of, but it's swirly. So once you mix them together, it creates like a blush color. And this one is Sassy Saffron. I did swatch them on the back of my hand. This is Sassy Saffron. And right here, you can't really tell. It's um, Milky Rose. I feel like I could use that as a setting powder almost. It does not show up on me. I'll try again. I'm gonna really get in there. No. Maybe just a little bit more, but I don't think that's gonna show up on my skin tone. And then down here, we have the Laura Mercier Blush Color Infusion Blushes. So this one over here is Peach Shimmer. This one's Very Berry, which is calling out to me. <laughs> and over here we have All That Sparkles, which also looks really nice. Now, taking in account of the other things I have to go in with in a little bit, I feel like this one will clash, although it's the one that I want to go in with the most. So I think I'm gonna go in with Peach Shimmer, this one here. That might be cute. But yeah, something about these two colors aren't really doing it for me. Well, I did enjoy like the original four colors that you came out with in these, but I did declutter them at some point and I don't know if these ones are gonna make it into my collection too. So let's try this Laura Mercier one. I don't know if I've ever tried a Laura Mercier blush before. Just kidding, I'm such a liar. <laughs> the liquid blushes I do have. <laughs> oh, that's nice. It's subtle, but it's really nice. I like how it's glowy. It kind of reminds me of the M Cosmetics Magic Hour. Uh, no, the Heaven's Glow blushes, this one here. Like quite a bit, actually. I think just the pearlescence in the M Cosmetics ones are a bit finer, but even so, I'm really digging the way that this is looking. Yeah, I really like that. I really do. It's paining me that it took me so long to finally use these. It's because I tried the highlighter first and I really did not get along with them. So that's why these just sat in my new product section for so long. Damn, I really regret that. And I think this color looks cute with my red hair. I like it. So now it's brow intermission time. So please enjoy. So here is how the base turned out. I think it looks quite lovely. Aside from like the highlighter acting weird, I think everything has evened out and I really like it. I think my skin looks pretty good. And I did get a new brow gel. I got the Auburn shade in the Boy Brow from Glossier and I feel like it's not quite there yet. I feel like this looks like my normal brow routine, if that. Still on the hunt for a good brow duo. But now for eyes, I have a couple options. Kaleidos came out with a new collection. Oh, I don't know what, what the collection was called, but it looks like this, very beautiful palettes. And this is what the insides look like 
Aren't they pretty? Especially the glowing iris palette, like so beautiful. Tempted to go in with this one, but at the same time, I feel like I'll look like Jessica Rabbit. And although that is so fun, I don't think that's my journey today, but so pretty. It's like an indigo kind of palette. I feel like I've never seen these colors before, especially in eyeshadows. I'm gonna swatch this palette quick. And also I'm subtly kind of intimidated by this palette. I'm just not feeling the most creative at the moment. <laughs> and I feel like it deserves me at my most creative. So there's the palette right there. They look super pigmented, but isn't that so pretty? I feel like I've never seen eyeshadows in these colors especially this one right here. These two probably, but this one looks very unique to me. And in that same collection, they launched some eyeliners kind of similarly to the Danessa Myricks Chrome liners. I'll swatch them. I'll give them all a swatch real quick. I am so socially drained right now. I had a huge weekend of being social for like four days straight and I'm really not used to that. And my introverted soul needs to lay in bed and recharge. <laughs> I went to a hockey game, then I went to a basketball game, and then I hung out with other friends and some more people and some family. And today is my stepdad's birthday, so more. <laughs> I have to be on my A game. It's good practice though, because I wanna become more social this year. Uh, that's one of my goals. So today I'm feeling a little bit tired and scatterbrained. So if that's coming across, I am so sorry. <laughs> so these are all of the eyeliners. They look really, really powerful. Wow. And one thing I do like compared to the Danessa Myricks ones, these ones seem to be a lot bigger. I'll show you what I mean. See like the Danessa Myricks ones are so dainty and same with like the actual size of the eyeliner. See, I like the thicker, thicker one. Although this is nice for details, I just feel like you'd run through these really, really quickly if you use them all the time. Whereas this one's nice and jumbo. Oh my gosh. I cannot read that. It's way too small. I think it says Epiphany Glow Melt On Eyeliner. I think that's what they say, <laughs> but that's them. They're really pretty. I'm gonna have to do something really fun with this collection. And the other eyeshadow palette I have here is the Empowered palette from Huda Beauty, which also looks stunning, especially for fall. And this one kind of gives me Natasha Denona Biba vibes just because of the plethora of textures we get in here. There's a ton. There's way more than I even expected. There are two ultra pigmented hybrid eyeshadow gel creams, two mesmerizing shimmery metallics, two innovative wet metallics, two soft shine metallic pearl shadows, and nine pigmented velvety soft mattes. And these two here are the innovative wet metallics. I think these are kind of a similar thing to like those ones that look like peachy dishes, but these have more shimmer instead of more gloss. There's a few palettes where she came out with those ones that were just like pigment pearls suspended in like gloss. You know, they look kind of off-putting. I think that's what these are, but just, so they're very, very creamy. They feel just like a cream eyeshadow. That one, and those shades are Courageous and Manifest It. Well, that's cool. I'm really happy to see those two hybrid eyeshadow gel creams in here. I love mixing different textures together to get a very impactful and smoky eye look. So I think that's my journey for today. <laughs> I feel it. So for my eyes, I wanted to do a technique I haven't done since like 2015, but I've seen a resurgence of it on TikTok. I'm gonna take some scotch tape and do the scotch tape trick. <laughs> so I already took a piece and I kind of put it on the back of my hand um, to like make it not so sticky. And all it did is collect cat hair. So I'm actually gonna redo that because that's really gross. Oh God, I forget how to do this, okay. Where do I want this to look? Where do I want? Perhaps like that. It's always a fun game to get them even, but it really never is because we are not perfectly symmetrical. <laughs> oh my gosh, I haven't felt this sensation in so long. Dang, I wish I thought of this a little earlier because I would have done eyes first. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> this is a little uncomfortable. <laughs> Weird, okay. So I'm gonna start off with the black. Oh no, let's go with, mm, okay, hold on. So this is Purpose and Worthy. This one is supposed to be like kind of like a purpley black, I guess. I'm gonna go with the purpley black. Let's try that. I'm going to start off with this Moda liner brush. This is fun. Okay, I'm kind of excited to redo this. I got, at one point, I got so sick and tired of this technique. I saw it so much. I saw it too much. I just was over it. 
but I'm excited to see how it works today. Sometimes it's such a fun contrast to see like a sharp bottom with a really blended eye look on top. Okay, I have to take this tape off. It's bugging me. I'll do it later. So far, I wish these were more pigmented. They feel kind of greasy. There's been a lot of greasy products coming out lately. What's that about? Giving me flashbacks of the Undone Beauty multi-liners. This is gonna be nice and dramatic. Then I'm going to take this Smith 253 and I might go in with the shade, which one am I feeling? Maybe Confident. Let's go with Confident. Did I sound very confident there? No, I did not, did I? I'm going to start blending this on top of that gel. And I'm gonna bring it in kind of like so for the moment. It looks a little weird. I do wish that there was a dark matte in here that wasn't like the purpley color. Maybe like a super dark gray or even like a matte black. I feel like this isn't gonna be enough depth for me now. That's okay. Maybe I should have went in with the black liner first, but it's okay. It's all about the journey. So now I'm going to put the shade Keep Going, this one right here, in my crease to warm it up a little bit before thinking of which shimmer I want to go in with. Actually, I might go in with a little bit of this as well, the shade Big Dreams. Keep Going Big Dreams. That's the mix I'm going in with. <laughs> I don't know if I'm really loving the reality of this palette. It's not performing as well as others. I don't know if I'm loving. See, like even with that base, I'm trying to build this up is looking a little bit patchy. Oh, my mistake. The other innovative shadow is actually Limitless, this heavy gold. It's super creamy. That's like a gold member gold if I've ever seen one. Sheesh, so is this one. I don't like this type of gold personally for my eyeballs but it's fun to look at, that's for sure. Those are insane. <laughs> Whoa. I'm not really liking any of these shimmer colors to go with this kind of mauvey color. It's just all, I don't know. I don't know if this is my style, you guys. While I think of a shimmer to go in with, I'm just gonna add more definition to my crease. I'm taking this little brush and I'm taking that shade Big Dreams again, and I'm going to kind of contour my lid here, a subtle cut crease kind of vibe. And I'm just gonna blend it out with a fluffy brush just to soften that. And then I'm going to sharpen it up once I pick a shimmer. And I think I'm gonna use Bold Moves. I wish there was more cool toned shimmer shades in here because they all lean quite warm toned and I don't like this one because it looks a little dirty. <laughs> I don't know if I like this color story. No, it's not my favorite. I'm just gonna take this off now. So we can see, okay, that makes it look better. And I'm going to take that initial angled brush and I'm going to take the shade Winner. This looks like a really cool color. This matte right here, the mattes are really drawing me in. I just don't I'm not loving the shimmer selection in here. And I'm going to take that on my lower lash line just to soften this out. I did this eye and I took off the tape and I feel like it's getting there. It's getting better. I'm just gonna add a little bit more concealer here because it did remove it. Being very careful. I really like the contrast between the sharp bottom and like the, the softly blended upper. I might do this a little bit more. This is fun. And it's growing on me now that I see it without the tape. I just am not the biggest fan of the colors for me personally, but they perform quite well. And especially how I was applying this shimmer all over my lid, I should have some glitter all over my face, but it really adhered to my lid and the particles didn't fly all over my face. So that's promising. I think this is looking cooler. I think I need to do a more sharp crease with it and then it will turn out really awesome. I'm now incorporating that winter shade that I used on the lower lash line in here to sharpen it up and now it's looking cool. I'm just gonna exaggerate it a little bit more than I initially wanted to. Very trust the process look. I was not sure about it at any point of creating this eye look, but I think it's turning out very glam, that's for sure. But I think I'm gonna stop it there for the moment. I really wish there was something I could highlight my inner corner with in this palette, but the lightest shimmer there is is the one on my lid. So I'm just gonna take a little bit more of the highlighter I went in with from Item Beauty. I'm now going to curl my lashes with my Shoot Omera Lash Curler. Mm -hmm. 
and I have the new About Face mascara. This is called the 1994 mascara, and it's just a classic black. Oh, okay, so this looks like the Glossier wand from the Lash Slick, just a bit bigger. Very similar. Okay, wow. That's pretty impressive. I was wondering how it was going to compare to the AF94 mascara, which I did not get along with, but this gave me quick application. I feel like it gave good length and good volume on its first layer. Okay, this side got a little bit more chunky than I was wanting to, but it seems to be very buildable. But it might be buildable in the bad sense where it gets clumpy. So here's the lashes. I'll look up so you can see. <laughs> Pretty good. Pretty good. That gave me a lot of volume and length and separation, but this side I think I put too much so it's clumping a little bit. Okay, this looks far better with mascara. <laughs> I need to stop being so hard on myself. <laughs> today like geez that looks fine that looks cool i will say that that house labs powder is not holding up under my eyes whatsoever so i'm calling in some enforcements my pat mcgrath under eye powder because this needs to stay i kind of feel like it's not holding up in many places i feel like my skin in the center of my face already looks oily i feel like i need more powder hmm Okay, so now let's move on to lips. I'm going to line my lips with one of the new Tower 28 multi-liners. That's what it's called. That's it. <laughs> so you can use these on the eyes, lips, and cheeks, I believe. So there's three shades. Let me check that though. I have three shades with me. Yes, there are just three shades. So this is the shade Work of Art. In the middle, we have Fill Me In. And lastly, Draw Me. And then for my actual lip color, I should consider what color I'm going to go in with first. I have the new Makeup Forever Rouge Artist Forever Matte. So they look like these. They're very intense. They could look like Wolverine Spikes. Very nice. And then I also have these from NARS. Look at the fun pair package they sent. I'm going to keep them all forever in this. <laughs> so cool. These are the Power Matte Lipsticks. Ooh, which ones do I want to go in with? I've been excited to try both. This is going to take me a minute. <laughs> Look at all these options. <laughs> I'm feeling slightly overwhelmed, but these are the NARS colors and these are the Makeup Forever colors. I'm kind of eyeing these two from the NARS range and perhaps this 90s-esque brown or this one over here, the furthest side out of the Makeup Forevers. Like, I feel like a 90s brown lip would look really cute. I will say that these Makeup Forever ones are heavily scented and it's already kind of, it's kind of disrupting me. <laughs> NARS doesn't. I'm gonna see what No Angel looks like from the NARS colors. I just wanna swatch it. That feels so similar to the matte tinted lip balms going on, like it glides the exact same way. But I think these ones are supposed to dry down like a liquid lipstick and it's supposed to be transfer proof. So I just wanna test that out for a sec. I don't like this color with this look. I think it's taking away and it's too orangey with my hair. I don't like that color with this. It's not completely set yet. Still a little bit of transfer, but I like the finish of it so far. It's kind of matte, like a soft matte, but it's not totally enhancing all of my lip lines. Oh yeah, that's better. Still a little tiny bit, but not bad. Do a little bit. I think I was just a little impatient with it. I'm gonna be a little bit more gentle with my lips today because I had so much spicy food over the weekend that every time I put something on my lips, it kind of feels like it's burning. This color would look cool too, potentially. I'm gonna try that one. That's the shade Immortal Rosewood. Oh, can you hear how that sounds? Like applying sounds like I'm drawing with a marker. Oh, I really like that color. I think that might be the winner, but just for fun, I want to swatch one more. Me saying I'm going to be gentle with my lips. I want to try that toffee at all hours color. And that's no good. And that's no good. I don't like that. One more. <laughs> I wanna, I'm having fun now. This is the shade Rose Now and Always. 
No, I don't like that one with this look either. I think the first one I went in with is the winner, Immortal Rosewood. And I'm going to line my lips with the Tower 28 color in Work of Art. I will never forget when I was in art school for a hot second, the teacher called on me to critique someone else's work of art. And I said, it's a work of fart. That's something that horrifies me right before I go to bed. And I didn't think I was ever gonna say that to anyone, but here I am to thousands of you. It was so embarrassing. I don't think I told it in that embarrassing of a moment, but just imagine. It's a work of fart. You're so shy and there's all these new people, you're in a new school with all these really artsy, amazing, talented people and you say that's a work of art because you are the fartiest out of all of them because your art is not art. <laughs> I <laughs> was not as talented as them in that bunch, in that way. I was a makeup artist and I didn't know at the time. <laughs> I was an artist just in a different way. These feel very similar to the Makeup Forever Artist Pencils. That kind of more powdery lip liner feel. Kind of reminiscent of some of the MAC lip liners too. I think it's the wood pencils that make this kind of texture. I love a classic wood pencil. Cute. That was pretty nice and easy to work with. I just really wish there were more than just three colors. I wish there was an entire range of them because I feel like three isn't enough for that. And now I'm going to top it with that Makeup Forever color. This is nice, it feels super thin, almost watery, very opaque. And it also feels kind of, it just is more soft. It's very soft feeling, not in the silicone way, but it's just very airy and nice and lightweight. Oh, I really like this with everything going on. It's kind of like a cooler toned lip look, but I think it looks really great with my hair color and the eyes. It flatters the like plum colors I used as eyeliners. Oh, I really like that. It's very 90s-esque with shimmer. And here is the finished final makeup look. I actually just fell in love with the eye makeup. I am completely in love with it now. <laughs> I really like how it looks. It's really cool. I will be doing this liner trick a little bit more from now on because it was so easy to create. And I like the smokiness on top and the sharp edge. I know I've said that like a hundred times now, but I just do. I'm so excited about it. So now I pulled all of the products I tried out today and I'm going to give you my first impression thoughts. So starting off with the Glowish Blur Jam Silicone Free Smoothing Primer. To me, I don't know how I feel yet because I feel like it might make my skin feel a little bit heavy. I do feel quite aware that I'm wearing makeup right now and it's making me feel a little uncomfortable and I feel like it's due to this primer. Although I am interested to see how it wears with other things as well. So this is a to be determined product for sure. Quick update on the House Labs powder. I don't think this is for me. I feel like it just isn't effective for my skin type. I feel like I already need to go in with more powder. I might go in with another one just right now. Sorry, I have a cat hair like bugging me. So if I keep rubbing my nose, it's, it's an invisible hair I cannot find. Where is it? I think I found it, but now I'm still itchy. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't think I like this at all. It looks amazing when it's freshly applied, but it, it only lasts a little bit. I'm now just going to reset the center of my face using my LYS Triple Fix, so you can see this in action. This one is far more blurring and the effect actually lasts. And I need this makeup to last for quite a while today. Yeah, I don't know, not my favorite. Don't like the House Labs powder. For the highlighter, this one is another to be determined product just because it did lift up my foundation there, but I have an inclination it was due to the primer here because it did feel a little bit thicker once I applied it to my cheeks and it doesn't feel like that consistency on the back of my hand. So I think there's kind of like a reaction there that and they just kind of repelled from one another like magnets. So I'm gonna see how that goes right now. Upon first application, I don't really like it, but I like the fact that it's a non-glittery highlighter. I think my favorite product of the day was this blush I went in with, the Blush Color Infusion from Laura Mercier in the shade Peach Shimmer. I love the way that looks, and it's very reminiscent of one of my all-time favorite blushes, the M Cosmetics one, so I'm happy to welcome this one in. For the Empowered Palette from Huda Beauty, now this one didn't really make me feel empowered. It made me feel a little bit insecure using it today. I don't know why, 
but it pushed me out of my comfort zone and I created this really fun eye look. I don't know how I completely feel about this palette. I still really enjoy the range of mattes in here. I'm just not a huge fan of the range of shimmers in here, just because of my personal preferences. There's only a few in here that I really see me reaching for and a lot of them that I don't. Like I don't really use this type of gold. I don't really use this type of like blackened shimmer, nor do I use this type of color here for shimmer. I don't know. I feel like those will go untouched for me. I like the concept, but I don't know if I'm completely in love with the reality of this palette. I do wish that the cream shadows in here were a lot more pigmented. They seem a little bit sheer for my liking. Although they did provide a pretty good base here, I just wish it was a lot more punchy. Another promising product of today was the About Face 1994 mascara. I really liked how it applied. It seems to be holding the curl in my lashes pretty well, and the only way I see this going wrong is if it's crumbly or flaky or anything like that, but I liked how it applied and I think it still looks quite good and fresh. I also had a pretty good first impression of the Tower 28 multi-liners. I still will stand on the fact that I wish there was more colors than just these three, but I'm interested to see how this one works as an eyeliner. I'll do that next for sure. And then for the lipstick here, I think this is a pretty good liquid lipstick. I'm not much of a liquid lipstick wearer anymore, but this one does seem quite promising. I really like how thin it applied and it feels quite comfortable as well. Like it just feels like I'm not wearing anything on my lips at the moment and it is completely transfer proof. Those NARS ones did stain a little bit, so that wasn't the best test. Just like maybe like the tiniest amount of transferring, but I think that's the liner actually. That's just the lip liner. <laughs> so that's pretty good. I think the colors are quite enticing to me. I just, I don't know how much I'll be wearing them since I don't wear that many liquid lipsticks. And if I do, it is in the fall. So I don't know. That one's another I don't know yet. <laughs> but that wraps up my first impression thoughts on all of the new products I tried out today. Let me know if you've tried any of these products and let me know how you enjoyed them in the comments down below. But that's going to be it for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give this video a like and I'll make sure to link and list all of the products I mentioned in today's video in the description down below. So feel free to check that out and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.